Sydney, good job tonight. A couple things that are going to jump out at me right away um, are the following. Um, as we start to go forward into your swing here, I want you to pay attention. Okay, first of all, I would like to see your bat. I'd like to see your arms and your bat back this way more. I'd like to see your hands get back more into a more aggressive, uh, aggressive uh, stance, uh, more aggressive bat hold. And uh, think about it this way. Uh, I'd like to see your, I know it's hard to see here with the cage, but um, I'd like to see your shoulder tucked under your chin. Think about it that way. I'd like to see when you, when you set your bat back behind you, I'd like to see your shoulder tucked right underneath your chin. Uh, okay, so going forward, some things that are going to jump out here. Uh, first of all, on your first couple swings, you'll see... Okay, right here. You do a good job of uh, the leg kick. However, that's where it stops because what happens is the hips don't continue to rotate. See what I'm saying? That's why you're uh, coming off the bat with the one hand because your hips have stopped rotating. Look right across there. You step forward, that's great, nice big stride, but the hips stop and the hands flip and flip so much that they come off the bat. However, the good news is, as we will see going forward, I believe Jason and or I said something to you about using your hips after this swing right here. So you did the same thing on this one. Big step, nice kick. However, it's all hands from there, no drive with the hips. And see you flipped, flipped your hands. That's going to lead to weak contact. However, as we roll on, watch the difference. Watch when you take this practice swing after we mentioned it to you. Look what happens. Smaller step, more hips. Bang. Now watch what happens when you swing like that. There's the practice swing as we're telling you to use your hips. And here we go. Look at that. Look at all that hip drive. Look at the back toe coming up. That's how you know you've done it correctly right there. If your back toe comes up, that means you're getting your weight forward onto your left leg. Now, uh, you might want to watch Aaliyah's video because I talk about this in here. You want to get almost all your weight onto that left leg. And by the time that bat gets through, you want to be standing almost on one leg. But see, you hit the ball hard there. Even though you let go of the bat there, you rip that ball really hard just by driving with your hips. If we can just get uh, a couple of these other things corrected, uh, you're going to be hitting some big shots. And I know you're capable of it because I've seen you hit some scalded dogs. So we will work on that. 